Hey guys, it's me, Tomato. Um, here with a game that I haven't played in, I don't think, quite a while. Uh, not, not since the very, very beginning of my channel. Uh, tch -tch -tch, please don't crash. And, uh, it's Rise of Flight, and it's one of my favorite... Yeah, there we are, there's the button for that. There we are, mixture full on. Uh, tch -tch -tch, crack the throttle open a bit. Let's get the party started. It's a fun game, it's a flight sim, and I love flight sim. Right, there we go. Oh yeah, I'm flogging the camel this time. I'm just gonna get my customer greeting everyone. Whew. I'm just gonna make sure my controls are all still good. Go. Really nice community. The guys are still left around. You gotta keep a bit of right rudder on it. So when you pull this prop up, I believe torque is gonna start messing around with you a bit. But yep, there we are. We're up. Remember correctly, you need to lean out the mixture just a little bit. There we are, that should do fine. And we just took off from... Alright, come on. Uh, t -t 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 right here, Warfuse. So we should really try heading southeast just a little bit. All the while gaining some altitude. See what that button does. <laughs> I'm gonna not push it. No trim on these aircraft. Very early. Very, very early aircraft. That's why I like them. They're simple to fly. Nice. Stop with camels, really damn maneuverable. Uh, crap on my desk. Gets in the way of my mouse, which I use to look around. Because I don't use track IR, because I'm. <laughs> lazy as all hell. That's the real reason why. Is that a first? No, it's a flat first. Alright, so let's see. Where's the front over there? There's a city. I'm wondering what city that is. Looks like, um... Le Hamel. Should be a river around here somewhere. Go back to 10,000 RPM. Well, those are people, they have to be viewed now, is it a smart blackbird? Let me find a river. There's the river. And just over the river... ...should be the airfield. Navigation. <laughs> Without a GPS, it can get interesting. Let's see. You can tell a lot about this game just by the way the engine sounds. If it's sputtering, you're probably about to die. If it's on fire, you're probably already dead. And if you're being shot at, that's not the sound of an engine, but it's a definitely good sound that you should climb, dive, or do something other than fly directly at the enemy. Yeah, I just had to make sure my guns were on the right key right there. Also keeping them warm. I'm gonna get myself up just a little bit higher, a little bit of right rudder. Left rudder, I mean. You can tell by the um, slip indicator on there. Helpful gadget. Lets you know when you're slipping. Stop that. Oh, it's a reverse who's pointed down, not up. Huh. Alright. Oh, there's a balloon. I can go fly some balloon escort for a little while. Not much will happen. This will be one of my more boring videos, I suppose. If you can count World War One aviation as boring. Which if you do, then you're a boring person yourself. Just adjusting the mixture, trying to get this RPM to optimal level. Yeah, see it tops off right around 1100. 
I'm also trying to keep my speed up at around 90. As a balloon, is that balloon descending? Alright, are we ascending? They're descending, because they might have already seen something that I've not seen. I'm gonna do a clearing turn. It's been a long time, so I'm having trouble spotting things, to be honest. I've always had trouble doing some minor navigation, but I believe I've seen the river, so... I'm just gonna stick my head out the side. Ah, there's the river. I really should have mapped this to my, um, nub. My nub. But really, once you've trimmed the aircraft well, and it's up with Camel's interesting plane, you kind of have to let it fall through its movements. I say fall, I don't really know if I mean fall, um, I'm gonna get above this cloud. You kind of have to let it float through its movements, it doesn't like to be pulled through its movements. If you do that, you'll lose control, because you'll hit the critical angle of attack too soon, which is, for all aircraft, around 18 to 20 degrees of angle of attack, which is the um, angle which the air hits the wind. So it'll come up at the wings kind of like this, the more you do it, and about 20 degrees of angle, all aircraft stall. It can be influenced by going slower and stuff, but you can also do a high speed stall, which is where you're just going too fast and you pull too hard, and the stop of the camel is perfectly capable of pulling itself into a stall, so you kind of have to let it fall through and can like gradually do so. Some more ambient black. Nothing much. There's someone over Waffles. Just gotta keep your head on the swivel. I don't really like the ambient black, I'll be honest. I find it really annoying. because it's hard to tell what the actual enemy aircraft are. Or, well, any aircraft whatsoever. I think that's actually a... <laughs> Someone's freaking the hell out of this bad right now. I just get... it's... it's interestingly relaxing. For the whole, you know, you get shot down, you die thing. But it's nice, I like it. I like it, it's fun. You have to keep your head on the swivel constantly. Uh, let's see if I can find the Hamal. Try and navigate off there. I'm not really familiar with the area of Camry. Uh, there's a small slip, there's the Hamal. So, or Poos. Right about there. There we are. It's not a goat, I don't believe, but it is a aircraft, and aircraft tend to attract other aircraft. I can idle my engine. I'm gonna go down there and follow them around for a bit. Lead off some speed. Well, there's a lot of people hanging around here. Looks like I missed the party by just a little bit. They're down to about 8,000 at that? 6,000. I'm just gonna tag along for a little bit. I'm concentrating a little bit because, um, just closure rates and such.
you gotta make sure I'm not leaking any oil or water that would draw attention to us. Nope. All right, let's go play. Let's play a game of catch up. I'm about to schism. I've got um for the songs I have stuck in my head today. <laughs> uh, I've got 46 and two by a uh, tool. Well, mostly tool songs actually. Yeah, <laughs> seems a bit out of place for this stuff I know, but um, I've got 46 and two and schism stuck in my head. Schism. Schism? Schism. Schism. <laughs> I'm too British to say shit like that. Literally. I'm just gonna fly some escort in here with these guys. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. And if they don't, then the little bastards they don't appreciate things as well as they should. But I'm also sure someone else will attack them, so I'll appreciate it. Someone else will attack me. I think that's a spad. You can tell because it's super round. The uh, axes don't fly around aircraft like that. Except for the albatross, but the albatross has short wings. I think. Yeah, no, that's a spad. Definitely a spad. Yep, there we go, we hit it. This is a spad, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna show the roundels. Whoa. That's a these are both friendlies. Check your fire, mate. Yeah, the Am I being engaged by that stud? I don't think so, but it has happened before. Bring myself in in a rather large slip. Get the speed down. Stop shooting at us, you twat! I'm trying to show them the roundels on my wings. Well, it's possible he's an AI. Well, I doubt it. I bet it's an AI, actually. Which makes me wonder what the fuck's the AI doing shooting at him. I'm gonna break away. See if I can't gain some altitude. This is the wrong place to be gaining altitude, but... Whatever. Oh, so I could probably just leave it like this. Kick a little bit of right rudder to keep it from knocking itself out of the skin. Now I'd keep a little bit of forward pressure too. Oh, not much might happen. You might actually get another Boeing patrol, which of course would be you know rather boring, but. Just checking on my instruments real quick, making sure they're all good. It's very easy to destroy aircraft in this time period. Just simply by existing. About 60 miles per hour would be decent speed for a climb. Yeah, a <laughs> wonderfully fast aircraft. I drive faster to school when I'm not late. <laughs> Alright. Let's try and get a decent idea of what's going on around here. 
climbing over the German side. I want to start heading back towards the British side, or up. I don't want to be on the low on the German side. I also need to figure out where the hell I am. I do love snow-covered landscapes to make it impossible to navigate. <laughs> Who needs that shit, right? Um, there should be a river near Cappy. Which would normally stand out like a sore thumb, but it's probably frozen. Where's the river on our side then? There's a river right through the damn middle of the thing, it'll stick out. Right, so... Did I see someone below me? No. There's a river halfway. There's a river most of the way. Is that the river? It could be the river. No, because we just came from the tank factory, so we're north of the tank factory. Um, that could, yeah, that could be the river. Maybe it's the river? What's south of it? Depends on whether or not we've gone too far north. this plane. Well, if he's an enemy, we'll go shoot at him, and if he's a friendly, we'll follow him back to base. Alright, now I don't want to say I've lost him, but I definitely don't know where the fuck he went. Gonna stick my face into this thing real quick. Hello, spitty thing. Sorry, my ADD taking a hold of me again. Alright, it's a little stub river. Yeah, the navigation is not the best. I'm just gonna head back towards the tank factory because I can follow the tank factory back across the line to our balloon, which will lead me basically to Varfus. Varfus? Varfus Roda? Right now I think, yes, I am climbing quite a steep rate actually. Focus on the slip indicator. As long as the thing doesn't tumble over, we're doing all right. Keep the nose pointed down just a bit so we don't go under 60 or over 100. I don't like this speed increase all of a sudden. I don't actually know what direction I'm playing. I just kind of know I'm increasing my altitude. We'll get out of the cloud eventually. Yeah, see there's the sun, so we can over orient it up. Yeah, alright, see? You don't really need that much instrumentation to fly through a cloud, you just need enough to figure out which direction you're going. I've tilted over, haven't I? Yeah, see, there's the sun. There we are. That was hard. <laughs> I know I didn't make it look hard, but it was hard. Also, I think we've crossed over lines at some point. Yeah, we've made a turn. Super cat spot. Um, whatever it's called, the city. 
Oh god, I guess sadly they have now. Back to ten thousand. Alright, the Hamal will be near our balloon. The balloon will be near our river. That could be the river over there. And the river will have some trees on it. It's fucking frozen. Then again, that could be... what is that? That's a tank factory. So... We're north of that. Not too far north. We might be right on top of it, actually. The more I look at it, the more and more I feel like that's the right place to go. Oh. Frame. Jeez. Stop. Alright, well I feel still looking alright. Keep those guns charged. And by that I mean accidentally hit the button. Pull my bomb release several times. Because I have no bombs and I can pull this lever all I want. If that's the river, then we can navigate all the way to Cappy. All we have to do now is find the Hamal to confirm our suspicions that this is exactly where we think we are. Oh, Newport 28. It's not an amazing plane. It's not the worst in the world. As far as I know. Could be. So yeah, a lot of me dicking around, not knowing where everyone else is. So I think this is near Warfus. Let's just investigate this river's geometry real quick. It's got those little bins. In and out. I don't know of any other rivers nearby to the north that do this. It goes straight through. So there should be another river just north of it. And on this river, there should be woodlands. Check. On our side. And the mall should be somewhere slightly inward towards it. And the thing that worries me is I haven't seen the mall yet. If I can't find Lohamal, I can't find Warfus. If I can't find Warfus, then I'm... Well, fucked. <laughs> oh shit, it's not there. I should fire up a flare. Flare, damn it! Oh shit, I'm lost. I hate being lost. It's the most annoying thing in this game. No navigation aids whatsoever. So the first thing you should always do is become familiar with the entire geography of, East, of Western Europe. Especially France. Mostly all of Western Europe, though. That could have been an aircraft factory, actually. Could have flown way too far north. Oh, who the hell knows? I don't know. That's for damn sure. Fun game! Mostly because it's... Half the fun isn't even fighting people. 
I'm trying to figure out where the hell you are. There will come a day when I know how to navigate, and this game will lose part of its enchantment for me, which is not knowing where the hell I am constantly. Until that day comes, I will gladly enjoy never knowing truly where the hell I am. Oh, the balloon's repaired? Maybe that means we can see the balloon from here? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe? Possibly? But the front bulge here is, need, needs to be answered. So there's a bulge in the front. Right about where that river runs. No, there's that little bit. So head back. Oh, these bits aren't connected, damn it. I've been chasing rivers that don't exist. So it's really that thing? Does that thing lead to a plane factory? How the same fucking hell am I? Um... Oh. I was headed south. Oh. Oh! Huh. Read your fucking compass, children. Otherwise you'll die. <laughs> See what I mean? If you don't pay attention, you'll just get yourself killed. By not... I was like, nah, that compass looks kind of north-ish. Nope, fucking south. Headed directly fucking south away from everyone. Wondering why I didn't see anyone. Good job, me! Also picked the wrong line mark. Thought I was up here. Yeah. Good going, brain of mine. Oh well, you live and you learn. Then some guy comes out of the sky and you don't live anymore, but you've at least learned something. <sighs> now I cracked my back real quick. Ah, one of the few flights where I can lean back and crack my back right now and then. Wonderful feeling. Ah, I don't know how much to talk so much about this game. There's, I don't, don't want to say there's not much to talk about, because there's quite a lot to talk about, but let's go try playing. Let's go try hunting. I feel fairly confident in my abilities to take on a guy one versus one if we both start off, um equal, because I feel like I can force him into making a mistake before I do. But I've taken on the guy from disadvantage. Oh, another game. This guy looks like he's got another guy on him. They're in a fight? No, that's Flack. No, definitely an enemy, then. There's Flack up there next to him. Alright. Got charged. Go hunting. Where did you go? Always be wary of the ambush. Ah, yellow flare. Someone's near. Two yellow flares. I was right. It's the guy. Bet you it's the guy. Yellow flare, someone's there. It's true for any flare, really, but... You there? Oh, see, there's the aerodrome.
I'm always suspect the above attack. I whoops. <laughs> Cut my engine. I was I don't know why. I've got, ah, I need to stop hitting that I need to rebind that button to something else. Wasted three bullets. I've not spotted them yet. It's damn hard to spot things in the snow. I'm actually listening really hard right now. I'm trying to hear him. He's not around there, but he's around here. Okay, if he sees me, he'll be trying to climb towards me, so I'm gonna put a little bit of climb on him myself. So that he can't just pop up here. Nick me with a surprise. The worst thing you can do is panic. And I have a habit of doing the worst thing you possibly do in situations like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really, really boring long video. That's a rise of flight goodness. I was kind of hoping to pop onto a more populated smaller server. Oh hell, I'm just gonna go down and see if I can find him. Yeah, head back behind the damn windscreen. Oh, not, ex not exceed, put it 120. Not seeing yet, and I'm thinking this is Wafus. So we're back where we started. Not spotted anyone. I spotted that one guy, lost track of him. You have to really have to keep your eyes peeled for the Huns. I'm gonna go try and patrol our tank factory, but I don't feel like they're making that big of an aggressive push. Only like they're a bit more aggressive, but they seem to be doing just fine holding back. I'm really rather determined to sit up here until I find something, but my fuel might dictate that I do don't, but I don't. I really need to clean off my damn screen. I'm just doing slow right now. That's really dangerous is when you get bored and you start doing random aerial maneuvers and all of a sudden the hunt drops down from 10,000 feet, screams at you and knocks your wing off in a single pass and you're like, the fuck, brah? Actual British term used to describe death.
I forget what button it is for team chat. Check into. I don't know. <sighs> Rather quiet patrol. It's nice to have one of those though. If I do have any action, I'll probably put the timestamp in the video. Damn ambient black makes it impossible to spot anything. I like this game better with my mods. The mods, the black only shoots his enemy aircraft nearby, so you can use it to find shit. Because that's how pilots found shit with black. So it's damn nigh impossible to spot anything in the air. I say this being a real. The fuck? I'm fucking blind. Let's go meet the incoming Handleys or Gothas or whatever the hell they are. I also got Sober stuck in my head. The song Sober. Those are... Kothas, I think, by the look of it. There are still people in here, I think. Yeah, there's still people. I don't know of many allied aircraft, but smoke like that. do know of albatrosses though. Although a damaged spad will do that as well. Smoke's a good tracker unless they go through this lab. And that looks to be an albatross. Ooh, alright. Finally get to do something. Keep nose down, keep speed up. Crosses over above. Six. Maybe I can bait him down. Sometimes you can freak these people out and put a few bullets near them. No, he knows his advantages. Gotta get up there. But he's also pushing that engine way more than he should. So that's um, steam coming off of his engine. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow him around. Eventually he'll have to throttle back. Or his engine will die and then I'll just pop him once. I say this from personal experience with albatrosses and exploding engines. <laughs> Alright, now we're chasing him west, which is good, because it chases him towards these... Those are Gothas, damn it, I know what you're trying to do. Enemy sighted, everyone home in on me. Dive bombing Gothas. Because hilarious shit is hilarious. <laughs> I think he's just kind of watching me. Yeah, see, there he goes. He's got a speed advantage though. I need to convince him to turn with me. Where'd you go? Damn it, damn it, damn it. There you are. I'm just gonna pretend like I've lost him a little bit.
Thank you, other camel. There you are. So we're just gonna hound him relentlessly. Should be passing on. Oh, there go his wings. <laughs> Got the credit, of course. Good tactics by the albatross, though. That's exactly what you should have done. Just got unlucky, hanging near the gothos, and got do dove on by another camel. I jumped in, put a few in him. That was that. These AI gunners are hell. Just need to keep their aim off. A little bit too accurate for my taste. Then again, that's only because I don't use them. <laughs> I kept thinking more like gunners in the B-17 game I play. Miss every goddamn plane that tries to kill them. I'm gonna try and get in front of these gothas. MOTHERFUCKER! Right, shit, my engine's got some damage. Nice speed. Bad. Poker. More bad. Fuck, he hit me. Alright. Come on, what's the maneuver called? Come on, damn it, down! No, fuck. Please? God damn it. Oh, shit. Um... Goodbye.